Gentlemen, welcome to the bunker room. You're probably wondering why I'm doing a video on a gas valve. There's more than meets the eye. I thought all gas valves are the same. I bought a new stove. It's a gas stove. I need a shutoff valve within six feet of the appliance. So I bought a gas valve for my contractor who's doing all the work and is certifying it. He said, no, they're not all the same. Lo and behold, he was right. Look at that, guys. You see that? That's the full diameter gas valve. If you go look at a appliance shutoff valve for gas, it is severely reduced here. It's, the ball is like half of the size of this. This is called a full port gas valve okay your appliance shutoff valve it's got a short handle I'll show you a link in the, the description down below they got a shorter handle but otherwise they look the same doesn't matter right but if you look inside it's not a full diameter so this is a non full port valve you can see not even close to half an inch they call this the appliance shutoff valve. Why do they have to neck it down? That's what I want to know from you guys. Uh, valves, full port gas valves. If anybody knows why the appliance shutoff valves reduce the diameter inside to like half of that ball right there, I'd love to know. So these gas valves are for outdoor use and indoor use and they're full ports the appliance shutoff valves the one with the short handle are not full ports they're like half the diameter so you can have a half inch gas line and you're now going through a bottleneck of like a quarter inch doesn't make any sense i i'd love to know guys why they make non-full port shutoff valves and why the outdoor ones are full port full diameter here any contractors know? I asked mine, he wasn't really sure. So I'd love to know what you guys think. So just make sure your contractor is using these full port gas valves. Okay, full diameter there. They're usually indicated by this long handle. Most long handle valves are for outdoor use, for the extra leverage, and they're full port. You see there, that's full half inch the whole diameter. That's important. You gotta you want to make sure your appliance is getting the full flow. There's charts I'll link to that give you the BTU per hour per length uh, for any given size of um, black iron pipe. Black iron is what used for gas. You want to make sure you're feeding above the capacity of the appliance. So you always start off with the biggest feed in your system. So in my case, I'm going from an inch. The contractor is going to then go down to half inch. Uh, what else do I have to show you? This is pretty interesting. So these are ball valves, right? I'm sure you guys have seen these. These valves are actually called grease valves. And the way they work is they use a taper. How does this thing fit in? Oh, there it is. Duh. Okay, so basically it is a tapered valve, right? That's open there, that's closed, and it seals from the taper, and because it's called a grease valve, the grease is actually helping seal. Well, you can see with this one, this one I uh, we pulled off the uh, gas water heater because it was leaking, and you can see the previous owner put a bunch of piping dope compound on it, not realizing that's not going to seal it. It's the grease. Look at the grease. It's worn out. It's all dried. Okay. And I would smell just a fair bit of like this natural gas, rotten egg, crappy smell. And I put my nose right to the valve. It was leaking from this. So what you can typically do is you tighten the end here and it pulls the taper further in. But the problem is then it becomes hard to turn. And if you need to turn it off in an emergency, you know, it's not much use of having a valve if you can't turn it. 
So I decided to replace it. And guys, if you have these, I suggest you do too. They're not safe. When the grease dries out, they don't seal, okay? Temporary fix might be to tighten it a little. And that'll pull the taper in tighter. But get rid of these guys. So once again, if anyone knows the difference, full port, appliance shut off, I'd love to know. Okay? This is a quality one made in Italy. If you see these around, buy them. I bought this, we bought this from a specialty store. Uh, the contractor sourced them. I helped uh, pick him up to help speed the process up. So he's coming and I'm going to fit all the lines. Uh, he's going to fit all the lines coming soon. So, okay guys, like, share, subscribe. Send me some info down below if you know the answer. I searched, I can't. And thank you for watching. Take care.